welcome to my shop. Currently, I have a Fremont bed, king size bed in process, and a situation that calls for some custom registration of this top rail. Come on over here, let me explain what's going on. This is how that rail lines up to the leg. You can see there's a straight line here, but then it starts curving right here. I want to put a floating tenon, a mortise, right here that's 90 degrees to this surface here. It also has to be 90 degrees here to this surface, the mortise. Here it's easy because I can register against this. Over here I've got an angle here and this is angled right here as well. There is no common parallel or 90 degree surface to register from. So what I need to do is make a custom registration plate. I'm going to do that on the multi-router. This is something that I've wanted to do for a long, long, long time with a multi-router. Map out those holes, those registration holes and the holes where the uh, pneumatic hold downs tie in so I can put another plate on top um, and, and do all kinds of different things. Um, on my website I will release for free the DXF and the SVG, so either CNC or um, Shaper Origin users can use that to map out their own plate for their multi-router. Now I, um, I'm not, my multi-router is rather old and I'm not sure if the new multi-routers um, that are made by woodpeckers nowadays retain the same hole pattern or not. I assume they do, but there's no guarantees. If, if you do make this and um, uh, have one of the newer ones, let me know in the comments whether it worked or not. So anyway, I've already mapped it out. I have went through the process and I have made a, an initial cutout on the CNC, adjusted the holes, now I've got them where I think they're all right. Uh, what I like about CNC and CAM is it's so easy to do these kind of things. Little custom fixtures to add on to machines or tools that you already have uh, to accomplish something. This was very simple. Most of the time was uh, taken up with mapping out the holes. Um, doing the rest on the CNC uh, was relatively simple. Let me show you how that went and then we will look at the finished product. So this was that first piece uh, that I cut out, my test piece, 
and it's got all kinds of little marks and lines on it where I adjusted things. Uh, and I was actually fairly close. Uh, uh, and I lucked out the second time around with my adjustments. Uh, I was pretty much right on the money. Now, I'm just holding, I'm registering these guys in with these 5 8 uh, aluminum rod. Uh, and eventually I'll cut these guys off to where they're not sticking up so high. Oh, one more thing. This is the actual size of the table here. And I've extended it out on this version here. Uh, for I wanted more support. Uh, one thing that I think that I was... A, um, what I was afraid of, though, by extending this out, that my hands won't get in here to work the levers. And it looks like I do have clearance in there. What I think I might do in a future version is make this guy stick way out here so, and use this to support. So, um, This is the registration piece that's going to um, tie into here. You can see it's got a whole pattern here. That lines up with this whole pattern here. I could uh, just forego this uh, uh, new plate and put it directly on to the aluminum um, original plate of the uh, multi-router, but I did want that more support. So let's line this guy up. I'll show you how it all lines up. Let's put this guy in place. And down with the air. There we are. Support. And then it's just a matter of doing business like you as usual. So, there you have it. Again, if you want to make one of these yourself, um, I have the uh, download on my website for DXF and SVG. You are on your own with those files. Uh, there's too many complications and stuff for me to problem solve if you run into problems with those files. Um, but, and the price is right though, they're free. So let me know in the comments if you make one of these and how it turns out and if you've modified it anyway to improve it. I'd like to hear that too. Mm -hmm.